Okay, how you doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Gain Times 2. First of all, I'd like to say thank you, Mr. J, for honoring your agreement. Uh, we received a uh, pre-shipped uh, tracking number, so it'll be on its way soon. I um, just want to say thank you for honoring your agreement. All right, so let's move on from there. Now, today I'm showing off our Ultra Sure Throw Screen Paint. Uh, this allows you to be able to turn any screen you want into an Ultra Sure Throw Screen. Over here, I am using my uh, 3100 Lumen 720p. This is the um, this is an older projector. This is an NEC U310W. Ultra short throw projector. My projector sits probably about a good one foot away from the screen. And just to show you how much ambient light we have in the environment, I moved the screen over to a much brighter area. Over here, I should paint it bright, nice and white. Put a 100 watt spotlight in at the ceiling. So the screen has direct light hitting it at all times. I want to take you show you a look around the environment. You can see how much light is physically in the environment at all times. And these are the kind of demonstrations we thrive off because I like to see how much ambient light the screen can actually take in. And this is very important in our demonstration to show that these screens can take in a lot of light. Now for those of you, and I have some people say, well, you know what, that is an ultra short though projector. Of course, it's gonna be to produce an amazing image and a, um, and a fully lit environment. Uh, keep in mind, I have the 4K projector also set up. The long throw, we're at 13 feet away from the screen. The shade of the screen will react the same way even with a long throw projector. Now let's come over here, and we're gonna show off the angle gain of the screen. And I'll tell you something, one of the things I just have to say, it's not even a rant, I would say, but this is easy. For me to develop an ultra short throw screen paint to work on a short throw projector is easy. It's not even a challenge because I'm used to working with a long throw. When I work with a long throw, it's a challenge because a long throw has to travel a longer distance. It's gonna lose quite a, a, amount of, a lot of lumens before it actually hits the screen. So it's gonna be a bigger challenge for the screen paint or projection screen to be able to produce a bright enough image so I can see it back at me. And that's why I like doing long throw demonstration. Short throw is easy. How these projection screens, companies are bragging and boasting on a short throw screen, it baffles me. It does. I don't see it as a great achievement. I see it as a very easy achievement because if you got 3,000 lumens, if you got 4,000 lumens, even 2,000 lumens, and you're nailing a short throw screen and you're a foot away from the screen, that should not be a problem. It shouldn't be that hard for a, a projection screen company to do that. But like I said, you know, what we design over here allows us to use an outdated old projector at 720p and make it look fantastic in a fully lit environment. And trust me, I've seen these demonstrations with these ultra short throw uh, projection screens. It's always that poorly lit, ambient lit environment. As you can see, we have direct light right on top of the screen to show you that even in the most extreme lighting conditions, this screen is gonna pull up. I said, I don't understand some of those demonstrations. I really don't. The door sticks a bit here. I'm not gonna get much light out of here because I have a balcony over there, so I'm not gonna get much light to come and hit the screen. So that's gonna be, it's no, there's no real light coming out of there through my doorway at all because I have a, um, I have a deck over top of me, so I'm not really gonna get too much light coming through. But just for those of you that are gonna comment, sometimes in the comment section, why don't you open the door next to the screen? There's not a lot of light that comes through there, so it's no point. I have more light in here than I have out there. All right, so. 3200 lumen, sorry, 3100 lumen, 720p ultra short throw projector. Like I said, um, for our technology, you know, for some people say, what is the difference between your technology and everybody else? Hey, take a look on the internet, look around, see how many people are using this much light using an ultra short throw projector. All right, now for those of you that are asking, hey, Ken, turn the lights out. We'll drop the lights. Drop them here first. All right, behind us and back of us. Now, that screen right here, I got it from Amazon for around, probably around, uh, I bought this one, usually I buy them wholesale, but I bought this one from Amazon for around a hundred and I think $40. It's an all white screen. It's coated several times with multiple different forms of screen paint. The last screen paint actually applied to it is our Illuminous Ultra Short Throw Screen Paint. That is the last screen paint that was actually applied to it. Like I said, only 720p, that's it. Mm. 
I'm gonna say we can do this in a fully lit environment, we can do this in a partially lit environment, we can do this in a fully lit environment, it doesn't make a difference. Do it in the dark. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, pretty much every screen don't look incredible with the, with the lights out. That's easy. Now, when you do so many demonstrations with the lights on, that you got people coming back to you asking you, asking you, do a demonstration for goodness sakes, man, with the lights off. That shows you how good your technology is. You don't have to do the entire demonstration in the dark. You got people asking you to turn your lights on. You turn your lights off, sorry about that. All right, so, switch the lights back on. Get the screen adjusting. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna turn this projector off. Cutting this one off. I'm gonna come over here and we're going to turn on the 4K projector, which I think I had in blank mode, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was in blank mode. All right, so that's a 4K projector that comes in at around, around 13 feet. We're 13 feet back away from the screen. Fully lit environment. Now, this is for those of you that are going to say, well, Ken, guess what? You have that ultra short throw projector uh, sitting right up on top of the screen. That's not a fair demonstration. It's sitting too close. Well, now we're back at around 13 feet from the screen. Long throw projector. Now keep in mind, this particular screen paint was custom designed for short throw and ultra short throw projectors. It can be used with projectors of long throw. It will work with projectors of 720p, 1080p, and 4K. It will work with laser projectors. Those of you who have laser projectors and you want to be able to use this on your screen, you can. Keep in mind, I've done this right here just now on an ultra short throw one foot away from the screen. Now the projector sits back at 13 feet away from the screen. And remember what I explained to you. It is harder for a long throw projector to hit a screen and produce an image and it is for a short throw because the short throw is literally sitting on top of the screen. With the long throw is gonna be sitting 13 feet back, the lumens have to travel a greater distance. By the time it hits the screen, some of those lumens have already dropped off. It's much like I explained to before, if a sniper fires a shot at a target, the bullet automatically starts to drop because of gravity. So they have to basically shoot higher than the target and have to count in wind velocity and all that other stuff in order to basically have the bullet hit its mark. Same thing with the projector. 3,500 lumens traveling in all this light. To come to hit the screen, it's gonna lose lumens. By the time it hits the screen, the screen has to generate enough light, enough gain to be able to produce an image back so you can see a brighter image. So that's why I do the demonstration on long throw and short throw. Let's set our lights. Now the screen paint is available now on our website. We have it in one quart and we have it in one gallon. Two gallons would be available today. The screen paint can be painted on just about anything. You can use it on fixed frame projection screens, motorized projection screens. You can paint this on your wall. Anywhere you want to put this, you can put it and add it. It is not weatherproof. Just want to add that really quick. It's only designed for indoor only. Now we can see that there is a 4K that's on. Now it is, like I said, you're seeing it right now, it is 4K and 3D ready, can be used with projectors at 720p. This application does have to be sprayed on. Shoot the angle. Turn my lights back on. Step over here in the corner. I'm gonna go over here to the side because I want to show you the angle. So I'll show you anywhere I turn in the environment. Like I told you, I can take this our screen paint and I can put it in any kind of environment I want. And that image is gonna show up. I've done this screen at 13 feet back. And I can go anywhere I want. That screen is gonna pull up. Put it on this wall, I can put it on this wall, I can put it over here on this wall over here, 
doesn't make a difference it's going to show up and I have a lot of lighting in this environment a lot Now, I'm going to show you something. See the contrast levels on this screen? I'm going to pause it right there. I'm going to come and put the projector in blank mode just to show you how light the screen is. So you can see that for yourself, how light the screen is. I think I activated my, uh, put that back in blue. There we go. All right, there we go. You can see how light the screen is. It's a very light silver and it can produce contrast with this much light hitting the screen. And this is no little, little tiny light sitting in the ceiling. It's a 100 watt floodlight. So anyone can make a screen look incredible with the lights off. Let's give ourselves a challenge here. Too easy to do with the lights out. Alright, before my time runs out here, I am Kenneth from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration, just showing you on a level on how we test, how we design. Well, I can't show you how we design it, but I can show you exactly like, you know, how fantastic this technology is in the light. How it works on just about every caliber of projector. Short throw, long throw, ultra short throw, doesn't make a difference. Now I was told I do too many fish demonstrations, so let's do some demonstrations beside fish.
Get our technology, don't have to be in the dark. I have the options. I want the lights out? I'll take my lights out. I can use my screen on 720p, 4K, 1080p. Long throw, short throw, ultra short throw. Doesn't make a difference. Those you've been asking me to do the demonstration of the lights out, lights out. That's why that projector sits back. You see how light the screen is? The screen is super light. And it has the ability, it has amazing contrast. comes to technology man I'm telling you we operate on a whole nother level I want you to look at this environment. You tell me where on YouTube you see anybody hitting the screen with this much light. Easy. This is easy. I wouldn't dare get all excited about a screen in the dark. Where is the challenge? This is what excites me. To have a screen operate in a fully lit environment. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I gotta go. Thank you all for your time.